Yes, I know Jungle pulled the emergency fire alarm on the cargo plane I was piloting on our way to Afghanistan. No, I'm not going to report it. And no, it's not because I'm a super cool chick. It's more like I was relieved to touch down in Yakota and get a break from these idiots for a few hours. All they've been doing since they boarded was wrestling, yelling, farting on each other, watching porno movies at full volume on their phones and laptops, and calling me stewardess and asking me when they can expect cocktail service. Motherfucker! I have shot down more MIGs in one afternoon than the total number of overweight, divorced soccer moms these jokers have gotten rejected by at our local TGI Friday's happy hour in the past five years. Anyway, once we landed and I had a chance to clear the fuselage of their man stench with some Febreze, I was feeling in a better mood. So I decided to help them out with Jungle's little plan to get on Japanese TV. I had an ex-boyfriend who works in Navy Public and Media Affairs forge some press badges for the team to help them get onto the studio lot where that handjob karaoke game show was filmed. Which I can't believe worked, because the morons insisted on having the stupidest and most obnoxious fake names ever used on their credentials. But I guess the Japanese didn't find it strange that Jack Mihoff, Hugh Boner, IP in your butt, Dick Ozinia, and Professor Leonard Von Ticklepuss III decided to visit their TV studio all on the same day. For our next mission, can we get some type of barrier or fart-proof sliding limo partition installed? I swear to God, my entire flight suit reeks of pull my finger. I spent the first eight hours of our flight with tampons up my nose just to block out the smell. And yes, one of those assholes took a pic and put it on Instagram. Men are children. 